Well, what are the odds that Martin Guptill would be our star of the day before this India-New Zealand one-day series ended with the way that New Zealand's tour began? But uh, it is the case for his uh, 84-4 ball, 72 in the fourth ODI at Ranchi. Najit Agarkar is always, but also one of our Hyundai Quick Jockey finalists in Mayank Jain, marketing professional from Mumbai. Mayank, welcome. Thank you. And I'll get to you in a minute, but Ajit, big innings from Martin Guptill that we saw in the fourth ODI. I mean, considering what the series has been for him, really big innings because he went on uh, and cashed in. It was it was never going to be a 300, 320 pitch. Uh, so you needed to get, I mean, New Zealand still fell short maybe by 20 runs from the start that they got. But Gupta is the kind of player once he gets going, uh, you know, scores quickly and uh, scores big. I mean, we saw that big double hundred from him in the World Cup against the West Indies. And that is what he can do, you know, impact the whole game. And New Zealand at this point, the way they sort of toss gone, they need individuals to stand up. I mean, it's sometimes you need those individual brilliance uh, to get them through and at the moment that's what they require. Mank, your questions to Ajit? Yeah, so after, um, in a match where most batsmen were finding it difficult to strike form and just two fifties in that match, how important was the innings overall in, in the scheme of things and the way the match turned out to be? I mean, like you said, it's, you know, the fact that there were only two fifties scored in the game, uh, one from either side. Uh, and at the start, you know, of course, New Zealand got the better of the pitch conditions. Uh, but once they got that start, especially Guptil, he made sure that he got to that 72, uh, where, you know, a lot of times, you, the previous game he got a good start, uh, got 27, but uh, threw it away. And this time he made sure that once you have an opener, uh, carry on till about 20, 25 overs, sets a nice base. And even though New Zealand lost their way a little bit, that base helped them get to that 260, where their bowlers have been really good in this series, where they could defend it. So, really important innings and a really good one. You know, he, he played the spin a lot better than he has uh, throughout the tour uh, and it uh, showed the value of that innings to, at the end of the game. So, with Guptil coming back into uh, form in this match, do you think uh, do you think things start looking back uh, up at top of the order for New Zealand and Guptil going forward? Well, they'd be hoping because he is, they've invested a lot of faith in him uh, and he is, you know, he's got, especially in one-day cricket, uh, you know, some big scores for New Zealand. So, they'd be hoping that this is start of something good. It's come a little bit late in the series, but, uh, you know, series is tied at two all and uh, if you want uh, your, one of your senior batsmen to get some runs, this is probably the game. And Latham has been pretty good with him opening the innings. So, if they can get them off to another start uh, in the fifth ODI, things will obviously look good. But, uh, you know, for all the faith that uh, they've invested in him, uh, they've not dropped him for a single game in the series. In spite of his bad scores, uh, he's probably started to repay some of that. Is, is that why you persist with someone like Gupta? Almost like their Virendra Sehwag? You also look at what options you have. I don't think New Zealand have too many options. Uh, and you, we know that he can score big. Uh, it's just he's not cashed in on a couple of the starts that he's got. Uh, and he's been a lot tentative in this series. Maybe worried with the kind of uh, pitches or the bowling that was on offer. And uh, overthinking his game today, I think after that start, uh, he was a lot clearer. And uh, made sure he didn't give it away. Right. Ajit? Yes, ma'am. So, do you think, uh, I mean, he was looking very comfortable when the pacers were there, but he just slowed down a tad when the spinners came on. Do you think that could be a point that… Uh, I think most New Zealand batsmen have struggled against the spin throughout this tour. Uh, and this pitch was probably suited to slow bowling as well. Uh, look, uh, Mishra and Akshar Patel bowled really well. But, uh, like I said before, he made sure that New Zealand didn't lose too many wickets up front, which helped them to get to that 260. Might not have been enough at the break, but was enough in the end. All right. Ajit, thank you very much, man. Thank you as well you. for your thoughts. And yep, there you go. Martin Guptil, big innings on a big day to keep New Zealand alive and therefore also our star of the day.